Dr. Gierman with the Nursing Medical, and today we're going to talk about snapping hip syndrome. Now, there are three different types of snapping hip syndrome, but we're going to talk about one in particular. It's called coccyx saltans interna, and it relates to a snapping hip that occurs on the front part of the hip. Okay, we had a patient come in recently, we did an ultrasound, and it was really cool because the ultrasound findings uh, go against what you'll read in the textbooks a lot, and I'll talk more about that. But this type of snapping hip syndrome relates to the iliopsoas muscle and tendon. And for those who aren't familiar, the psoas muscle starts up here on the back. It actually attaches to the vertebra, and it comes down, crosses kind of the pelvis area, and attaches to part of the leg bone called the lesser uh, trochanter. So um, <clears throat> when the patient engages in hip flexion, kind of moves their hip around, there's a lot of movement occurring in that muscle and tendon. And the textbooks will tell you that this condition comes from that tendon snapping across this eminence or this prominence, uh, this area of the bone. But with some newer ultrasound literature, they found that the majority of the time that's actually not the case. And we'll show you what's actually occurring. So in a lot of patients, this is tough to see. But on this patient, or in this patient, we actually were able to appreciate what's going on here. So we'll take a look at the ultrasound. We'll go over to my computer and we'll come back. But let me initially show you what we're dealing with. This white line is the bone, it's part of that pelvic bone. And then this white circular area is the psoas tendon. Now this area next to it is the iliacus muscle. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you like a graphical representation of that. This is a journal article that was published, I think in the Journal of Rentgenology in 2007. But what it shows is exactly what we were looking at. So um, on the ultrasound, this little tendon area is white, this circular tendon, that's the psoas tendon. And then the muscle was adjacent to it. Now you can see it starts with the tendon resting on top of the muscle. When the patient engages in hip movement, those actually flip places. And that flipping of the tendon and muscle is what causes the snapping. So let's go back to the ultrasound. You can actually see that in this patient. So as soon as I press play, you'll see this white tendon snap down against the bone as these, the muscle and tendon switch place. So there it just occurred. We'll let it loop through again. The patient's engaging in hip movement. And you'll see those two right there switch places and the tendon snaps against the bone. So again, uh, if you read um, sports medicine books or orthopedic journals, most of them still say that it's related to that tendon snapping over a bony prominence. But this is actually what's occurring. So pretty cool that you can appreciate that. And it just goes to show the value, again, of ultrasound diagnostics because it's a dynamic assessment. You can have the patient move while you're looking at the structure. So... Uh, again, that's coxa saltans interna, and I'll briefly mention the fact that for the majority of these cases, physical therapy is very helpful. And one of the ideas is that you want to stretch the psoas and the iliacus because when they're taut, you can imagine those muscles and tendon are more likely to snap over each other. Um, in one patient, they had refractory symptoms, meaning it went away regardless of stretching and therapy. And we actually put a little bit of Botox into the psoas muscle, which relaxed it and, and uh, it caused less tension to be through the tendon, and it got rid of their symptoms. So um, you'll read some places that uh, surgery is an option, but we've really never had to go to that point because of these other conservative treatments that you can do. So um, again, different forms of snapping hip syndrome. This is coccyx saltans interna. If you have any questions, let us know. But that's it for today. Mm -hmm.